This next story is one of survival against long odds. One man escaped a war-torn country to find a better life for himself in the United States, and now his family is facing a long journey to join him. Emily Longnecker tells us what it will take to bring this family back together and the friend who's helping make it happen for the lost boy of Sudan. It's kind of long distance. A 15-minute walk to work is nothing for 34-year-old John Tor. For him, every step is a blessing when he considers the four-month-long walk he embarked on when he was only five years old. On that walk, though, John and thousands of other young boys with him were fleeing for their lives, their parents killed in the civil war raging in Sudan. There was no food, no clothes, no shoes, no water. John eventually ended up in a refugee camp in Kenya. At 13, he and about 5,000 other young Sudanese came to the United States as refugees. They call us lost boys. And when, you, when we left, everybody cried. They said, that's it, we will never come back. But years later, John did, meeting and marrying his wife, Mary, who was also a refugee in Kenya. He's been back a handful of times to see her, never staying for too long for fear of losing his green card. The couple now have five children who live in a refugee camp. John has never even met his youngest child. Like yesterday, they called me. They didn't even have no food to eat. You want a sample? A daily irony for John, surrounded by food, working behind the deli counter at this Southport Kroger. It's here where John has made a friend in co-worker, Pam Speckman. Until we really got talking about it is when I realized the depth of his horrific journey just to, get to the United States. The private selection, that's when we... Okay, so private selection. Now Pam is trying to help John bring his family here as refugees at a time when the debate over immigration is center stage. Pam started a GoFundMe account to help John raise the $50,000 it'll take. Let's see, actually, listen to me and listen to what my history was and try to help me. This is a dad wanting his family, his wife, and his five children to come and be with him in a land where they don't have to worry that there's a war going on. So John will retrace this same path back here to work tomorrow, hoping every step he takes is one step closer to a reunion with his family. I want him to have a better life. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.